All right now, a local homeless outreach center is ready to celebrate. Brian's Angels is getting set for their fifth annual Angel Fest. It's the organization's biggest fundraiser. And Pat Steppens, the founder of Brian's Angels, and Nicole Semba, a volunteer, are here to tell us all about it this morning. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for inviting us. First off, I just want to give you official Brian's Angels shirts. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, um, Pat. And actually, not only is that our fifth Brian's Angel Fest, but today is actually our ninth anniversary. <gasps> yes, it's I actually saw that. Today. 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 Congratulations. Right. So, well, nine years ago today, we started simply passing out ice water, and my my son was not even in my thought process mm -hmm. as a part of what was going to happen next. But we went from passing out cold water. On a hot summer day. It was a miserable hot summer day. Yeah. Um, 50, and the community really wanted to step in. And 54 people. I had a list of 54 names of people that wanted to help. That's incredible. So we went from passing out cold water to people. One person gave me $500. And it's, oh my god, what am I going to do with this? I had no plans on anything further than water. So we started making great big supply bags, which we called our loving bags. Mm -hmm. Loving bags, all right. Um, I got involved with Bristol's Homeless Task Force. We decided we had to come up with a name. Pardon my voice, I had surgery a few months ago. You're the voice fine. Is you sound You're wonderful. fine. Um, someone had come up with Brian's Army, and I thought, yeah, that sounds aggressive. Let's do Brian's Angels. And Brian is? Brian was my son, mm -hmm. lost him in 98 to suicide. I could not for, for many years decide what I wanted to do. I wanted to help somehow. Um, I think many grieving parents have, um, have been pushed mm -hmm. to do something special in honor of their child. Mm -hmm. right. Brian was a great kid. He was a CNA on an Alzheimer's unit from the time he got his certificate. So that was like four years. That was a lot for a young man. Mm -hmm. um, he was 24 when I lost him. It's, a, so. it's so beautiful. You know, uh, Channel 3 has covered stories. You know, you were on the bright spot during the pandemic and all the work that you were still doing when all the soup kitchens were closed. Mm -hmm. You were still serving the homeless population during in COVID. and around. During COVID. And it was the, interesting. It's amazing, you know, nine years later. What is it like to see where you're at now? A, we need double our square footage. So if anybody out there has space for us, we want it. Okay. <laughs> Um, we are still doing our hot lunches. Mm -hmm. We are doing cold lunches. People can get a shower. Um, one of the things I insisted on when we moved, we had previously been at St. Vincent de Paul Shelter. We outgrew that. Um, Prospect United Methodist Church in Bristol invited us to take a couple of rooms in their downstairs. And we have not only filled our rooms, we have filled some of their rooms. Great. So um, we need room for supplies. And you have a lot of volunteers, right? Nicole being one of them. I, I want to introduce Nicole Semba. <laughs> She's one of our most enthusiastic volunteers, and we absolutely love her. Well, that's wonderful. And Nicole, can you tell us a little bit about this event that you're going to be helping with on Sunday? So I don't know much about the event personally, but I do know that it is happening. I'm going to be trying my best to be there because I love <laughs> Brian's Angels, I do anything I can to help. <laughs> but I do know that it is to raise a lot of money for us because mm -hmm. we do need it and it is very helpful for us and I'm very excited to go. And, and you're a rising junior at Bristol yeah. Central. Yes, I am. And volunteering is like one of the only things I do outside of school and it is wow. the best thing I do. <laughs> and wonderful. how did you get connected with Brian's Angels? Um, a few months ago in March, I emailed my gu guidance counselor asking about volunteering places, and it was either Brian's Angels or a horse place, and mm -hmm. I'm not into horses, so <laughs> Brian's okay. Angels it was. Very yeah. good. And, and what have you gotten out of it? I already had a connection with homelessness before I started at mm -hmm. Brian's Angels, but now the, I, it's not just volunteering. It is my family. All of the clients there, they are my best friends. I tell oh. everyone that. And I love them, and they all know me. And it's very nice knowing who they are. All right, Incredible. so we have this special event happening mm -hmm. August 18th, Sunday. It's a concert at Bleacher's Middle uh, on, the, on Middle Street. On Middle Street. Yep. Bleachers. It's at Bleachers. Yep. Um, and it's 3 to 9, and this is bands from all over. This is, I've got to take out my notes because my memory, I'm old. <laughs> Hit 70 this year, I'm old. No, you're fantastic. So, um, 
My friend Greg Ray Dunnett, who lives in St. Croix, he has, well, his daughter is in Bristol. He has concert ties around the state. So this is the fifth concert that he has arranged for us. Okay, wonderful. Um, so people can expect a lot of music, a lot of entertainment, and all for a really good cause. We're running out of time, but we just oh, want to thank you, Pat. That, that, the um, organization Brian Angels, yep, yep, right on your screen. So if you're looking for more information, that's where you can head. Thank, Thank you, you so much, Pat and Nicole. We appreciate all your hard work. Thank, Thank you for you. having us. We appreciate it.